Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Ian Press 48 is here. Welcome back to another Diecast 160 for comparison video. This is episode number nine, I believe. And boy oh boy, we're gonna go back to almost a decade. And this was one of my all-time favorite Jeff Gordon paint scheme when I was younger. Like 11, 12, such and such. And I still like the scheme, but it's not like, like, I don't hate it. Like, I still do like it, but eh, they're like better ones. But I still, I still think this, these certain paint schemes are still good. But like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. They're better ones, but I still like it. Anyway, so excuse that waste of time of what I was just talking about. We're going to be going over, of course, another Jeff Gordon uh, diecast. So what is it going to be on? So these are similar schemes, two different generations of the bodies. So with that being said, let's begin. So first up here, we got Jeff Gordon's 2011 Pepsi Max Zero Calories Chevy Ampla from Hendrick Motorsports. I remember getting this die cast off of Walmart. Yes, a Spin Master die cast, by the way. Anyone remember that? I remember getting this die cast uh, back in Walmart during like uh, the Dover June weekend, like when like practice was going on, when a truck race was going on. So yeah, like I was pretty much on a roll for collecting NASCAR Spin Master diecast, like in the summer of 2012. I was on a roll, man. Good times. And this is, and the next one is going to be his 2013 Lionel version, of course. Pepsi Max, zero calories, Chevy SS or Hendrick Motorsports once again. And fun fact about this paint scheme. This is the first ever Gen 6 164 Cup car I have ever gotten and I got this from eBay and it arrived uh, during the July New Hampshire practices on a Friday the same day when Kevin Harvick was announced that he was not going to RCR 2014 was going to Stuart Haas yeah <laughs> I guess you can say my memory most of the time is amazing good times I'll tell you that anyway so Let's see what is similar or different about the about this similar scheme. So with starters, of course, it's made by two different companies. Spin Master and, of course, Lionel. So, yeah, here we go. So in the 2011 version, you got 24, got ARP, Pepsi Max. It, yeah, sorry about the mess ups. Uh, I did play with it. But, like, again, like, just like the Hamlin one, I was washing the die cast. A bunch of my loose die casts keep them clean. And some uh, decals are peeled off because I used dishwasher and hot water. So, if you're going to clean your die cast, again, do not do what I did. Or else you'll end up like me with a bunch of my die casts being all peeled off and crap. So, yeah. No warning. Anyway, so 24, ARP, Pepsi Max, um... American Ethanol, Pepsi Max, DuPont, Quaker State. Uh, I got Jeff Gordon, of course. Um, crap. Hendrick Motorsports, Freightliner, Siemens, Bosch, Mac Tools. It ain't Panasonic, that's for sure. You got the 2011 contingency sponsors. Damn. Not a lot. You got Pepsi Max, zero calories on the hood. You got Chevy logo, Ampla, Hendrick Motorsports, 24 in the headlights. Same side as the left. And you got Pepsi Max at the back bumper. You got the Chevy logo, 24. Quaker State got 24 on the roof. And Drive to End Hunger on the deck load. So that's the 2011 version. Let's go over the 2013 Lionel Racing version. All right, so we got 24. You got ARP, Pepsi Max, Pepsi Max, uh, Chromax Pro. Yep, no DuPont. It was Chromax Pro for like... A couple, no, not a couple of months, like almost the first half of the season or the first half of the 2013 season. Then it was Exalta. And to this day, we have Exalta. Got American Ethanol, Quaker State, 
Jeff Gordon's signature once again. And here we got, uh, crap, does that say? Purilator? Derek Cope's old sponsor from the, the early 90s. Uh, Bosch, Siemens, Freightliner, Mac Tools, Hendrick Motorsports. Got the 2013 contingency sponsors. Now, this is what I prefer contingency sponsor wise. Not the bull crap Cup Series logo moving all the way up here and all that crap. Fuck, what did I do wrong? You got the Pepsi Max Zero Calories logo on the on the on the hood. Uh, you got you got uh, Twitter's. I can't speak. Anyway, you got Pepsi Max's Twitter logo, Twitter account for crying out loud. God, man. Anyway, Chevrolet logo, Chevrolet SS twenty four, Hendrick Motorsports. Same size as the left. Pepsi Max twenty four, Quicker State SS. Chevy logo got 24 on the roof, got Pepsi Max on the roof, and you got trip ARP and drive to unhunger. Ha, ah, was that so hard, Ian Perez? Yes, anyway. Whew. Whenever I think about the Pepsi Max cars, I remember the, the 2013 uh, Pepsi Max prank that Jeff Gordon did on the driver's ed. No, no, he was pretending to be. A driver's that I believe, or taxi? Fuck, I don't remember. But I know he was doing something with, like, I think the guy was a car dealer. But I know Gordon was doing something with a, um, with a guy, like, he was just pranking him, like, being a crazy driver and, and all that stuff. And I think Gordon did the same thing in 2014, but it wasn't really as good. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will play the clip for you guys. So yeah, good times, good times. And I remember myself having uh, Pepsi Max. I think I've had Pepsi Max before. It's been so long. I don't know if they made those still. But unfortunately, PepsiCo left Hendrick Motorsports and NASCAR, so... Yeah, fun. Anyway, so let's get a little 360 of these wonderful diecasts. So, of course, like, um, of course, uh, Gen 5, Gen 6, Spin Master Lionel. Remember when Lionel Racing made amazing Gen 6 diecast in 2013? 2013 is one of my favorite years for NASCAR diecast. They were just amazing. And then, yeah. So yeah, so if I were to pick between um, which scheme is better, 2011 for the win to be honest because the yellow splitter, when it actually shows, it does go well with this paint scheme. Yes, the, the Gen 6 and Lino version does have the yellow splitter, but it doesn't, it barely shows. I don't know, I, I just think like... It works better on the Gen 5. But don't get me wrong. The 2013 uh, paint scheme is also cool. But 2011 for the win. Alright. So. That is it for today's video. Feel free, tell me, feel free to tell me which do you prefer better. The 20, 2011 or 2013. Do you guys remember the Jeff going Pepsi Max pranks commercials? Have you had Pepsi Max? Remember when lying on my good Gen 6 diecast, remember Spin Master, all that good stuff. Feel free to tell me in the comments below. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social account in the link in the description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notification bell for more amazing content. This is the Impress 48 signing off. Thank you all so much for supporting E Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.